सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रेस द बेल आइकन get ready start ladies and gentlemen i have great pleasure in presiding over the conference of ministers of state governments in charge of social welfare and the presidents of welfare association in the country on this occasion i would like to share with you some of my views for your consideration this subject of social welfare was mostly dealt with by non official agencies in the past para it is only after the country became independent that is the state and central governments have been making provision in their budgets every year and spending large sums of money for this purpose it is common knowledge that the governments elected by the people are responsible to the people and answerable to the legislatures concerned they have a responsibility to see that the money collected by way of taxes from different sections of the society is spent taking into consideration the requirements of the people and the overall interest of the country while governments are at liberty to plan and spend for essential items of expenditure such as defense as far as economic matters are concerned i feel the economy of the family should be taken as the basis for planning because when the structure of the family is disturbed for any reason it becomes a social problems para there is much talk of increasing the production of food grains and at the same time restricting the growth of the population so that the food grains that we produce may be sufficient to meet the requirements of the people no doubt there is increase in production of food grains and other goods on account of various development schemes but in spite of the family welfare schemes it cannot be said that the increase in population has been checked to the extent we desired however the central government are expected to take into consideration the problems faced by the people and spend the government revenues in such a manner as to benefit them the most important thing that the government and the welfare association should do is to see that children are grown in healthy condition and also given the right type of education as the boys and girls of today are the future citizens of the country so i request the government to take care of the boys and girls in poor families that may not be in a position to take care
care of them for a variety of reasons. Thank you. Stop.